Uh, there's a couple reasons why I haven't been putting out any videos here lately. My laptop screen is actually uh, screwed and uh, been a little busy and just not much time to uh, post videos. But uh, I'm going to do a real quick one here. The screen is messed up and uh, I'm going to show you how to replace that. Now I've already taken out the screws. There's two little pieces down here that you have to take a knife in there and pull them out and then pull those screws out. Then after that all you need to do is to pull the side cover out. And be very careful because you know, you're dealing with plastic. So it's a little bit of a pain. You don't want to break any little plastics. Let's take that piece and make it inside and oh yeah, take your battery out. Now I've already taken all the screws out, but then you'll take, there's two screws up here that I've taken out on this HP and then that will allow you to pull the screen a little bit forward and then there's more fasteners here and over here and then you'll just take it and lay it down and then this is actually fastened in right here so but that is your screen on your laptop I don't know if you can see, but it's messed up. It's got a crack through here. Uh, this was actually sitting on my lap while I was in bed and fell off the side and busted. The screen still kind of worked, but you, know, you just couldn't tell anything. Now here's something very interesting. Here's my replacement screen. It's actually out of one of my old laptops, out of one of my old Toshiba's. Screen's a little dirty, I need to clean it up. But if you flip it over after I remove this screen and you look at the number right there, and now you look at the number, well, crap. It's on there. No, it's not. But uh, the number was on the back of this, but the numbers matched oh my so in a way I have a free replacement screen for my laptop now I'm going to show you how to reinstall it now for the reinstallation we'll bring our screen in we'll take the clip which fastens in right there just slides right down in so a little bit of a pain, but it slides in there really easy. Then we'll pull it kind of tight and lay it back. Now I'm just going to take some tape here and re-tape it on the back here. and then we'll put it back up in the brackets and then there's some really tiny screws now the next thing is is there it's fastened up here so we need to put that bracket back in to hold the screen back in place. And now, before you put this cover back on, this has the little camera up here. You want to make sure that it's little wire is connected up there and then we'll just put our cover bracket back on be very careful and then 
there's just two little more screws that go right down here in the bottom. Now our screen's installed. So we're just going to close it and put the battery back in. And and now we have Starter. a working screen once again. Um, I just happened to get lucky because the other laptop it it died a long time ago, and I actually just threw this away yesterday. And you know, trash doesn't go until on uh, Mondays or Tuesday mornings. And I just kind of thought, you know what? Maybe that screen might work. And I actually I've ordered a, another screen for it, and it costed uh, sixty-seven dollars. I was including shipping to replace that screen. So if you've got a broken screen on your laptop, maybe you might have another laptop laying around. Take it apart and see if uh, the screen might work. I got lucky here, so when that screen comes in the mail, I'm sending it back. Well, that's all I got for today. So hopefully here soon I'll start downloading more stuff, and I got some. Uh, Projects coming up. Just wait and see.